Chloe, and today I'm going to show you how to decorate your mailbox for spring. Now before we get started, I'm going to ask you to subscribe. The subscribe button is right down there so that you'll make sure you get all the crafts or recipes, whatever I do, set right to your mailbox, okay? All right, I brought, have a standard size mailbox, and I do have some ideas for some other ones, so if you have questions, you could always post them in the comments below, and I get all those. So what I do is I'm going to start out with a cube of styrofoam. And this is, a four, this is a standard cube that you can get at most any craft store. It's four and seven eighths square. So about five inches square. And I'm gonna cut out about two and a half in, two and a half in. So I have like a stubby little L, okay? Now, this is going to be our base for up here on top, and you're like, well, that's great. How's that gonna stay? Not to worry, I'm gonna show you how. What we're gonna do is just what I do when I make a swag or anything else that um, requires you anchoring your styrofoam. So I'm going to take a piece of paper wrapped wire, and I'm going to push it right through here. Now, I, I also have a couple tips about this, okay? This is a pretty lightweight wire. It might not go through. Let's see if it will go through there. Oh, it's coming through. Okay, it came through. If not, you can always use an awl or a nail or like a skewer and make a hole and stick your wire through there, okay? Now, you're going to take a pipe cleaner and cut it in half. And we're gonna make a little squiggle. Oh, okay. Now, put this right in here and you're going to pull that right over top of it. And that is really important that you put this underneath there or something underneath there. And I'm gonna show you why. If you do not, and you just put a wire through, let me take my scrap and show you what happens. So let's say, oh, we wanna anchor this piece of wire or this piece of styrofoam to something. And I'm gonna just pull that wire right through there yeah, with nothing underneath there. Over time, that wire is gonna cut right through and whatever you have will fall off of where you're trying to get it to stay. So that's why this is really important. So on the back, we're going to do the same thing. We're gonna make our little squiggle. It's kind of like a W, kind of like an M. Like I said, it does not matter. You can put a little piece of wood here. I've used buttons in the past. And you're gonna anchor this like so. And the reason we're doing this, and you're gonna do it on this side also, is because this is what's going to anchor this to your mailbox, okay? So I have a piece here that I've already done both sides, okay? And let me put this one aside. I'm gonna get some additional wire. In fact, I'm gonna use some pipe cleaners just because they're easier on my hands, okay? And I'm gonna wrap these wires around. Back and forth, okay? I'm gonna do that again. And wrap those securely, okay. Kind of looks like we're making some alien kind of uh, school project, doesn't it? <laughs> Yay! All righty, now we're gonna do the same thing over here because we need that length. One of the questions I've gotten a lot is the people that have the big brick mailboxes, and I think you can do this same thing, but what you're gonna do is after you get the wires down, you're going to attach them to something you wrap around your mailbox. If you don't understand that and you need that information, you can go ahead and message me and I will get with you. Okay, let's see if this is enough to fit around our mailbox. It is. Now, when my mailbox out on the curb, I can't do this, but I wanna be able to show you. So I'm going to pull this around like so, and I'm going to do these wires really tight. Oh, and you know what else I'm gonna do? See if you have these holes in yours. 
I'm gonna put it through these holes and then it won't slide either. So let's put these through these holes. These holes are to attach it to your post. Um, but any way you can get underneath there and secure this as snug as you can. Okay, because we don't want that to move. Okay, you have your foam uh, secure. It's not gonna move a whole lot. Uh, and your flag is still going to be usable because I've had that question before, okay? Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna create. I like to use a steel pick machine like this one. Um, it uh, is by Steel Picks is the name of it. And what it does is I take my foliage like this or my flowers and it puts a steel pick with little barbs right on the end of it so I can push them right into my phone, okay? Now, if you do not have a steel pick machine, and you don't wanna invest in one, let me get out one of my wood wired sticks here. You can buy wood wired sticks like this, okay? And you're gonna put the wood wired stick up next to your stem, whatever it is that you wanna add. And these um, wood wired sticks come in a couple different um, sizes. This is a longer one. And you're gonna wire that on securely. Same thing, you can stick it right in, okay? So let's start. I think that I want to start with some foliage. I've already gone through and put the steel picks on all of these silk flowers. And I can't tell you exactly what I used because I'm cleaning up today. So if you have a bin of silk flowers that you're like, oh yeah, I've had these forever, or you've taken things apart, and you're like, it's time for something new. So we're just going to stick these in and start to build our decor on the map box. And so that's what I'm doing is I'm using this as a cleanup project, okay? So you're helping me clean up today. And you do wanna keep a hand on here while you're pushing in, okay? All right, I have some more eucalyptus here. I like to use the eucalyptus in the spring things, that or um, I think I have some lamb ears in here. I think the gray is kind of pretty for spring. Okay, here we go. Okay, we've got most of our greenery. I'll finish, I'll top some off later and I'm gonna start with my flowers. Now, I just used some of these lilies in a swag that I posted the other day, and I like them so much. And I had some more left, so I'm going to add a couple of lilies. And to me, geraniums are such a summer flower, so I'm gonna start adding my pink geraniums. And these, actually, I think I used in a pot on the front porch last year, so I'm just gonna keep adding in and just build your arrangement just like this. You can have this trail down as much as you want. You can even decorate up your post like with a garland and have it coordinate with this. whatever flowers you want to use. And shortly, mine is going to be ready for me to go out and add to my mailbox. 
and I think it will probably be the prettiest mailbox on the street. is going to be the prettiest one on the street all decorated i hope you enjoyed this tutorial make sure you hit subscribe down there and you can also check out all of my projects over on celebrateanddecorate.com thanks for watching